Hi everyone! Today I want to show you what Spill Expo gaming convention in Norway looks like. I'm gonna take you through the entire thing and show you all of my pickups, which were some things that might be interesting. In this video there's a lot of video games, there's a lot of cosplayers, and I'm also meeting some YouTubers. Maybe you will recognize some of them. So I mean, just enjoy this video and I'm gonna take you through the entire trip. I flew down there recently. It's in Lillestrøm. It is an annual thing and it is the biggest gaming convention we have, as far as I know. It's held in this really big hall with a bunch of shops and stands of all kinds. Okay, so here I am at my first day, Friday, with my free Red Bull. Red Bull was a big sponsor, so they were handing those out for free for everyone. And to begin with, I am going straight over to the Nintendo stand. Here they have Mario Kart for people to play that new sports title and a bunch of Splatoon 3. And here is me being awkward before we check out Elshop's place. And this thing is lots of old electronics melted together for art. Pretty cool stuff. So at Spiel Expo there are a ton of cosplayers. There's just a big focus on cosplays of all sorts and kinds from anything you can think of. But I have to say there were a bunch of Genshin Impact cosplayers. <laughs> like here we have Venti and Lisa from Genshin Impact. Just amazing guys. I want to also do a Genshin cosplay sometime. My favorite character in Genshin Impact was Lisa if you may remember that. <laughs> okay so I continue to make my first round just looking around, looking at body pillows of the shady type. <laughs> Never understood the appeal of body pillows, but I know there are fans out there for that. And here's another cool cosplayer. Thank you for letting me share. I just went up to people asking them if I could film them a tiny bit for my vlog. And all of them said yes. I come across some video games, some NES titles, SNES and N64 stuff. I'm just browsing through that really quickly. And some Xbox games are thrown in there for some good measure as well. So many books, magazines and comics. I mean, you can find just about anything at this convention. Well, another cosplayer. Pretty good. I found a cool Destiny ghost shell. I found Mario puzzles, Banjo-Kazooie puzzles, and a PS2 games section. Scrolling through there, seems to pats, scrolling, 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 making sure I'm not missing out on anything. Nothing piqued my interest, and then I saw PS1 games and Theme Park World, of all things, and Discworld. I've never seen that before. Suyukuden and a Vita section. I love the Vita, and I picked up a Senran Kagura hack and slash game from this pile, even though I'm not really a fan of Senran Kagura, but any new excuse to play the Vita, I'll take it. Here's the first God of War game, PS3 games, bunch of those, and PS5 games, and the newest God of War game, which I'm actually currently playing. Here are some Switch games, and Persona 5 Royal. I actually have the collector's limited edition of Persona 5 Ro Royal. It's gonna be unboxed in another video, it's just sitting there in my pile, but you can't see. AI, the Insomnium Files. Play that a tiny bit on Game Pass, actually. It's a mystery visual novel. Here is 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. And you know what? People in my inbox on Twitter, I talked with a guy that said that that was the most incredible game he had played this year. And I keep hearing people saying that, so I should definitely play it sometime. And here is a game called Chaos. I know nothing of this game, I just like the cover. So here are 3DS games, and I find Kirby's Extra Epic Yarn. In PS4 games, I see Smurfs, and I picked up Smurfs on the Switch in this convention. I will be talking about this game pretty soon on my channel. And if you listen to the podcast, Disc Disc, you know some things already. It's an interesting story, okay? Here here is Atelier Sophie 2. Great game, guys. I reviewed it earlier this year on my channel. Here is Valkyrie Elysium. I've never played that. Is that good? Let me know. Here is ReZero, a visual novel hybrid I have never played, but Loki want to someday. Doom Collector's Edition is huge, and so is Bayonetta 3's. A Nier Automata figure, 
I'm currently playing that on the Switch. Another Genshin cosplayer, guys. Really detailed, so pretty. I love it. Here's a stall with handmade Pokemon decorative items, and I had to pick up one of these. There are also Christmas themed Pokeballs, and they were really pretty. I'm gonna show you later which one I picked up. Here's the crew dancing and doing their thing, and here are more cosplayers. So many interesting things to look at. I think I walked around on this first day for five plus hours, and every time I walked the entire round, I saw something new. I absolutely recommend taking a trip to any local gaming convention that you may have near where you're living. It is just its own community. Here I met Torkil, and I have pretty much too much material to come up with a commentary to everything, to be honest, but here is the big Swedish booth, here is Yoshi's Island, Yogi Bears, Cartoon Capers, a bunch of complete Super Nintendo games. I am still interested in finding some special GameCube games, any new good game to play on the GameCube, and I am up for it. And there were a lot of obscure and underrated titles for the system, I feel like. Here's Little Mermaid on the Game Boy, Kura Kura Kareen on the Game Boy Advance, the best title ever, Beauty and the Beast, and tons of Game Boys, DSs, 3DS systems, and Dark Alliance on the GBA. That is pretty interesting. Spyro 2 Season of Flames is an excellent GBA game, guys. I highly recommend that. And I bought this necklace, a Zelda shield. So pretty. And there were so many other pretty necklaces, though. I want all of them, to be honest. <laughs> Norway's best gamer is here and they hired me to do like a mini documentary commercial with them like a year ago. I do that sometimes and they had that video rolling in the background. It was so funny. That's what we could call meta. Ikone Island is a game I'm going to check out. It is confirmed for the Switch. I think it looks good. It looks like a farming, crafting, monster taming type of game. I saw PS5 cover plates but they didn't have the black one. And no, I still haven't gotten the one that I ordered months ago, so I assume that I'm never gonna get that. We are nearing the end of the first day, and it is incredibly noisy in this hall. And I slept two hours last night. Here is the developer of Rushaug. Totally butchered that pronunciation. And he told me that he has spent 10 years making this game. It is also confirmed for the Nintendo Switch. Here's the Moomin game, and I have seen it before, and here is a brew, and no game showcase and switch confirmed I believe and then I get poked in the side by a Norwegian youtuber that I have never met but I've heard his name Katekrip we hit it off immediately like we already knew each other check him out link down below he was there with a friend that's promoting a game that's called the holy gosh darn and we hung around we goofed around it was pretty awesome stuff I hope we can get to meet another time sometime definitely dude So the next day after a good night's sleep, I am ready for new adventures on day two of the convention. Plenty of new stuff has appeared in the hall, like this Mario pipe that you can pose at. <laughs> funny. And let me just say, a ton more people were here today. This was the day that the entire hall was packed with people. I mean, Friday was a chill day compared to this Saturday. A ton more cosplayers too. Genshin Impact cosplayers, Zelda Breath of the Wild, so many things. And I met Kim. You have that show on PlayStation Norway's YouTube channel called L2R2. Super awesome stuff. I am looking forward to meeting you again. I am scrolling through some games again, making sure I didn't miss anything yesterday. And here is Ninja Garden on the Vera. This Zelda notebook was pretty, but I mean, I just got this notebook, remember, from my last video, the God of War video. Black is my favorite color too. 
and here I met Gamer Baby from my Discord server. We hung around, we went shopping together. You were so cute. I know we have been talking a lot on Discord and now we finally met. I'm so grateful for all your support that you have shown to me and my channel for such a long time and I felt honored. And then I had to say hi to two of Norway's biggest YouTubers, Sara Heydal and Victoria Sko. You guys were so sweet, so nice. It was really nice meeting you too. And then I met my favorite Norwegian streamer, Emzia Emilia. That was a big surprise. I immediately recognized you and ran up to you. You are adorable. Link down below to all of these content creators if you want to check them out. So do that. Check them out. And now I met Nathan also from my Discord server. It was awesome meeting you as well. You and Gamer Baby, you are the best people in the world. And for everyone watching right now, we are a very family like community over in my Discord server. Link down below the Isha Gaming Discord server. This is where we hang, where we talk about video games, and we meet under this common hobby that we have. And then I'm at PlayStation Helena. She was there working with the giving out the God of War merch and we hung with Katakrip a tiny bit at this point. And here you can see Nathan bought a Witcher necklace that went very nicely together with the podcast merch, such a shirt. <laughs> and here you have some of the cosplay parade. And here we have Nathan being so sweet. He wanted me to sign his God of War on the Rocky copy and I made sure that I wrote something special in the cover as well. And then he showed me a fan art piece that he has made for me. I was so surprised. Dude, I know how hard it is to make digital art. It's me as a dragonborn from Skyrim. Skyrim being my all time favorite game. If you have followed this channel for a tiny bit, that was pretty Pretty amazing dude. Thank you Nathan and thank you Gamer Baby for wanting to meet me and thank you to Spill Expo for the weekend pass. Here's that Pokemon decorative item. I don't know what else to call it. I will have it here. So now you know the story behind this one. If you're watching some of my upcoming videos and you see this one. Mm. Here's the game Senran Kagura. I haven't popped that in yet but uh, I will. It wasn't supposed to be on the table, but this is Razer Kishi. Uh, I'll talk more about that later. I bought these things, which are heat pads. And here are all the flyers. I mean, Iconi Island looks like a fun game. Moomin stickers, some other stickers. Now, thank you for watching and please hit like if you enjoyed this video. I will see you guys later. Armara, Arma, Automata.